So this is the part 12 of that video series in which I will perform molecular docking and interaction. Just giving you a brief uh, introduction about uh, the entire course, a quick recap. Uh, in the previous videos, I have shown you that how you will retrieve the data, how you will perform homology check, protoparam analysis, immune epitope prediction, antigenicity, antigenicity analysis. All this is the entire pipeline of the uh, in silico vaccine designing. We are now, we will today we will perform the protein protein docking uh, and we will also show that what type of interaction are present in that protein protein docking. Okay. And in the next video, I will show you the codon of climization. In the last video, I will show you the in silico cloning. Okay. So if uh, you are interested in this course, so just start uh, uh, it from the very first, from the part one of this video series. Uh, it will help you in, in your bioinformatics, in your BS projects, in, 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 in your MS projects, okay? So let's start with the video uh, lecture that what is basically molecular docking and interaction analysis, okay? So in the previous video, uh, we have uh, retrieved our structure that we have composed, the protein structure, sorry, the vaccine structure, okay? After that, uh, we perform structure refinement and stability analysis, okay? So today we will perform uh, molecular docking and interaction. So what does uh, basically this mean, okay? So just giving you a brief introduction, uh, when uh, we just construct our vaccine molecule, so now we will look that either our vaccine molecule can interact with the MHC1 molecule and the MHC2 molecule of the human being or not, okay? We will just show, uh, we will just look the affinity of and the efficacy of the binding, okay? This is very much important. As you all know that we have construct our vaccine from different epitopes um, uh, in the, uh, it was basically in this part of the video that uh, this uh, MHC1 and MHC2 epitope, okay? So basically our vaccine is composed of epitopes, okay? So it was all uh, the human MHC1 and MHC2 molecule was considered, okay? So now when we uh, just uh, compose our vaccine, so now we will look at either when it, uh, when it is in the structure form, so what is the interaction analysis and what is the binding affinity of our vaccine with the MHC1 molecule and the MHC2 molecule? Okay, I have just given you the small picture of the MHC1. This yellow color is the MHC1 and this uh, purple color is the vaccine molecule. Okay. So how will you perform this analysis? Okay, you can perform this analysis for any two proteins, okay, of your interest. I'm just giving you the uh, the concept of the vaccine, okay? But you can all use it from for any type of vaccine, okay? Uh, for any type of two protein, just to see that uh, how much uh, by, uh, how much uh, effectively they are binding and what is basically the type of interactions between that uh, proteins, okay? So this was a small uh, a brief theory about it, okay? So for the software that is used to dock two proteins is basically CLUS Pro. C L U S P R O two. Okay, this is the class pro. The uh, yeah, if you write the class pro, okay, uh, type it. So it is class pro. It is the best tool that is used for um for the docking of two proteins. Okay, so this is the uh, the the platform. Okay, you will just click on the dock, and this page will appear. Okay, so you just give your job name, the CPU, or uh, just leave it as a default. Okay. After that, uh, okay, for uh, for a moment, I want to uh, just uh, tell you that how you will get the uh, the the PDB structure of the MHC1 and MHC2, okay? So basically, uh, the PDB uh, ID of our MHC2 uh, class 2 receptor is basically 1KG0. And for the MHC1 um, is the, 1i, 1y, okay? So keep this PDB codes in your mind, okay? 
So this is basically the actual PDB code of the MHC1 and MHC2, okay? So from here, what you will you do? You will just download your file in the PDB format. And after that, so your one protein is prepared. And after that, this is the MHC2, okay? Here, you know, if you are using MHC2, and this is the actual code of the MHC2, 1KGO, but here, basically, this MHC2 is binded to the, if, the structure of the Ipstein bar virus GP42, okay? So just look here, which one is the uh, Ipstein bar virus GP22? Okay, so the chain uh, chain A is basically of our MHC2 class, uh, uh, MHC2 class receptor. The chain B is of also, it is also of our MHC2 class receptor. Now here is the chain C. So basically chain C is the hemagglutinin HA peptide, okay? So this is not the part of our um, MHC2 class protein, okay? Uh, just keep this in mind, chain C and also chain D. Chain D is basically the GP42 protein of the human gamma herpes uh, virus 2, okay? So when you download this, uh, this uh, PDB file, so what will you do? You will just click on the download file and download it in the PDB format, okay? So I have downloaded it for you, 1KG also. Just open it in the Chimera, okay, Chimera. And you have to just remove the structures, the, the chains that is involved in the, um, the herpes simplex virus, okay? So what will you do now? It is open in the Chimera. So what will you do now? This structure, okay? You will know that you will go select pe jayenge, chain pe jayenge. A B jo hai wo hamara apna ka jo hai MHC2 wala hai aur C jo hai ye jo hai uh, it is uh, of that virus okay human herpes simplex virus so just select it go to the action and just go to the atoms and bonds and delete it okay so now we have deleted another is that uh, small uh, line the small peptide chain you have also to delete it because it also consists uh, belong to the virus family okay so just delete it now this is our mhc2 uh, receptor okay so you have to prepare it like this just then go and just save it as pdb okay save it just give the name okay you will give one two three four and uh, choose the path that where you should uh, just kept it so uh, we are keeping it in the where we will keep it in the uh, basically the desktop region the documents region okay Okay, so just save it, okay? Uh, it's your choice where you should kept it, okay? Now just cross it and now it is present in the documents, okay? So keep this small point in your mind because when it is uh, it is binded to the epstein bar virus uh, protein, so it might, uh, it might uh, uh, show interaction with your actual protein, so it is not good, okay? Because in your body, it is present in the, in this form, okay? In this form. That we have downloaded it okay so what was it one two three four uh this one okay now we will view it here is the data i'm using it ucsf camera for the protein visualization because it is the most simple one and everyone can understand it it is basically for the beginners a one who is uh, new to the bioinformatics and the structural protein prediction so use this camera okay it is very much easy okay so this was uh, all about the receptors, okay? Now we have downloaded our MHC1 and MHC2 receptor, okay? So I was just showing you that how you will download it, okay? After that, then you have to go to the Plus Pro. Here, just uh, uh, upload the PDB file of your vaccine, upload the PDB file of your receptor. I agree to the use Plus Pro only for non, just click it and just dock it, okay? So it will take about, uh, uh, it depend upon the uh, the how much the server is busy, okay? So I'm showing you just an example. Just go to the results. Uh, here your results will be appear will appear, okay? So when you click on the results, so here is the finish. And uh, if there is an error, so it will show error. Or if it is finished, so it will show finished, okay? So I'm showing you the uh, uh, a re a result of another person that uh, he have performed protein protein docking, okay? So here is the docking results, okay? Uh, this type of results will appear, okay? So if we consider it this uh, orange color, this yellow color, our protein A, and this is our protein B, for example, so this type of appearance will appear. So here you can, the most best is the zero, B, 
because uh, it is the best docking okay after that one two three you can check it you can check the scores of it download all uh, you can say view model score just click on the view model score and after that uh, okay where is the view model score i don't know uh, wait a minute i will show you okay okay just click on the this one and uh, basically it uh, i will show i will show you the docking score that what basically it looks like okay Okay, these are the scores. I was not logging to it, so it was not showing it. Okay, so uh, the, the 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 this was the dog complexes. Okay, so this is the score. So the lowest the weight uh, weighted score, the best is the binding. The lowest the energy, the best it is the the, the binding. Okay, so just uh, one eighty eight members are involved, and uh, the score is already also very much uh, less. So the lesser the score, the best is the binding. Okay, so you can download these scores from here. So the best docking is of the cluster zero, okay? So just download that cluster zero, okay? After that, uh, the, this was, uh, you can just click on it and you will download the, here it is downloaded, okay? Now, so this was about the protein, protein docking. You can perform docking of your desirable proteins, okay? The I have shown you that how you will uh, use this tool and how you will interpret the results, okay? You can use uh, any type of uh, result, okay? You can choose zero, one, two, three, but zero is the best because it gives the best binding score. Now, the second part of the video is that we will see that uh, uh, what is basically when, uh, you know, let's see a docked protein, okay? when a protein is docked within another protein, okay? So just uh, wanna see it, I will see it in a pymol. Maybe a pymol is also uh, used for protein visualization, okay? So for example, uh, this is the uh, this is the structure, this, uh, this um, blue, color in a, uh, blue color is protein A and this is protein B, okay? So they have docked together and uh, so, in order to see that what basically the interaction, uh, what type of interaction are present in these uh, two proteins and what type of, uh, uh, which amino acids are involved in it. So there is also a tool for it that uh, you can use it because you should know that what type of interaction is present in between your two proteins and which amino acids are involved, okay? So for this, what will you do? You will just go to the, uh, uh, just go to, uh, a tool that is known as PDB sum. You just write PDB sum here, okay, and type it. And after that, the first link is of about the PDB, okay. So either ham kya karenge? Either ham uh, we will just click on the generate, and you will upload the docked file, okay, not the uh, single single protein, the docked file that you have obtained from the Clust Pro, okay, the zero model, okay. You will upload it from here, and after that, you will give your email address, and you will upload it. So you will get. Uh, the result after two, three hours in uh, in your email, okay? I'm just giving you an example that what does it look like and how you will in interpret the result. So uh, we will use this, uh, this example, okay? Now here is a protein, um, already it is not docked, but uh, uh, there are different subunits of it. So they are having interaction in, in between them. So for example, this is your doc complex. So you will just um, just go here. You will uh, click on the protein protein uh, interaction, okay? So now here, this protein have, for example, if you were having, the, uh, your protein was composed of two chains. One was of protein N, one was, pro one was of protein B. So yeah, here, just A and B will be appear. So now this protein have four subunits. So there are interaction between the four subunits and also, so this is the interaction, okay? So here is the salt bridges, disulfide bond, hydrogen bond, non-contact, uh, non-bonding contact means the Van der Waal forces, the London dispersion forces, okay? So these will, uh, these are the uh, non-bonding contacts, okay? So here interface summary, click on this AB that we will check that what is basically the interaction and the number of interaction and the type of interaction between the H chain and the B chain, okay? So here are that it consists of one salt bridge, six hydrogen bonds, and 47 non-bonding contacts. It means that it um, the Van der Waal forces and these type of stuff. Okay, so this is present in between. Now the best part is that it will show that which type of interaction are present in which type in which uh, between which type of uh, uh, 
uh, amino acid. Okay, so proline 151 of chain A is uh, uh, is making uh, an interaction with the chain B, the alanine 152 of the chain B. Okay, so it, these results are very much important. You will download it from here and you will paste it in your research papers and in your thesis. Okay, leucine 159 of chain A is making a bond, a hydrogen bond plus interaction, non body interaction with the aspergine of the uh, 77 aspergine of the chain B, okay? So these are the results you just diagram in PDB format. You just click on it. After that, it will appear like this. And you will now then download it from here and then you will test it in your research paper, okay? So this was all about the protein-protein docking that if you get your, uh, if you get your uh, vaccine, so you should look that I have now I have composed a vaccine. So now I will check it that how it is, uh, what type of interaction uh, will it effectively bind to the MHC1 and MHC2 class proteins or not. And you will also check that what if it binds, so what type of interaction and what type of bonds are present and which, uh, or which, which amino acids are involved in these type of interaction between the DNA and DNA and so on. Okay. So this was all about uh, the, inter the the today's video. We have used uh, molecular docking. Uh, we use PDB some tool for uh, sorry the plus plus pro tool for molecular docking, and we have understand the result of it. We have just also studied the interaction analysis of it. That what type of how we will interpret it. We will use PDB some, and you will how we will use it. I have shown you. Okay. In the next video, as we all know that now our uh, we have performed molecular docking interaction. So in the next video, I will show you the codon optimization and the in silico clone in the last part of this series. Okay. So if you hope you have understand it well. If you have any query, so just let me know in the comment box. So I will answer you there. And uh, if you are interested in such type of project, so you can also email me. I will help you. I will also guide you that uh, which type of protein will you select for your vaccine designing. I will assist you, okay? So thank you for today. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with your, with your friends. Thank you very much. God bless you.